Amos Sumac was a Peruvian singer with a very, very large range, about four octaves, who through imitation and improvisation was able to create tremendous portraits and sound. And she sang Peruvian folklore and folk music. If you listen to her do her, her thing on her recordings, they'll take you away into a whole different place. She was one of the few artists that each decade wanted to go into the studio and make a recording. During the course of her career, almost invariably, Ema was one of the highest paid performers around, especially when it came to places like Las Vegas. At the time, she was the highest paid performer that ever appeared there even over Frank Sinatra. Ever since this Latin beauty set foot on American soil, Ima Sumac and her golden voice have been electrifying the airwaves. If her records put you in a trance, you've surely been wondering about that unique voice with a near five octave range. She has a five octave vocal range and uh, she has been called a miracle of nature, her voice has. And to top it off, this woman is an Inca princess. This woman has a voice with a phenomenal range. It's been said to reach as low as an earthquake's rumble and as high as a parrot shriek. This elastic voice made her a singing sensation during the 50s when she was adored for her exotic act. Whatever her origins, a whole new generation has discovered her. Please welcome Peruvian vocalist Ima Sumac. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves. Please welcome the Peruvian nightingale, Ima Sumac. After she hit it big in America, everybody wanted to know how she could sing the way she did. So they felt it was important enough that they would they brought in a whole slew of doctors to come and examine her throat and take pictures and find out what exactly allowed her to do that. She's famous in a cult famous way, but it's a big cult. It's an international cult. Her recordings are magic. She was able to create an, a new ty type of singing. She sang popular music within an exotic framework with a classical voice. How could all that mix together? But it does. She makes it work. There's a spontaneity to the recordings that is timeless. There's a certain quality to her recordings that just is not like anything else. Is that true, a five octave range? Well, that is true. I proved to the world, yes. It is. Is that like a Guinness record? <laughs> demonstrate the, the, the high end and the, the, the low end of the uh, octave what range? What I did? You just did there. Yes, I Should, did. Let me hear the lowest part again. <laughs> can you do that? Yeah. No, if I can. Okay, I we'll know give it a try. At this time, it's very okay. difficult okay. to sing. We have to. <clears throat> oh, that was good. Now let me hear the high. No. One thing I didn't realize, she was one of the best-selling artists of the 50s. Her first record has been in continuous circulation and to have that long a career and to keep selling records to this day is phenomenal. A career that spans seven decades. To this day, she's a legend. From what I gather, she's inspired or influenced so many of the new wave groups. I mean, in my group, Kate and Cindy love her. She's being sampled by all these really top artists. <laughs> I've told people that she's in the studio again and starting to record and I know so many people who love musicians, great musicians who'd love to work with her, write with her. And the fact that she still has that incredible range and versatility, her voice would lend itself to so many interesting types of music. So there's a huge fan base out there and hip musicians really want to work with her.
I was born with that because life gave me that voice. That's my music is popular, but in a different way. Not the po popular music which you heard in the radio. My music is very exotic. something different. People are ready for Ina Sumac again.